Welcome to the introduction to OrthoVision's Profilogram feature. To get to the screen, make sure you have Simulation and Profilogram selected in the upper left menu. To begin, first make sure that you've selected a record that has a tracing. This record doesn't, so we'll choose a previous one, which does. Here we see our profilogram overlaid over our x-ray. Our patient's profilogram is marked in red while the average profilogram is marked in blue. We can toggle our x-ray on and off by simply clicking on the checkbox at the bottom of the upper right menu. I'll leave the x-ray off for now in this video to clearly show our profilograms. Before beginning to analyze this profilogram, make sure you have the correct gender selected under distinction. As you can see, when you select male, the average profilogram size increases. The other settings allow you to make small adjustments to your profilograms. By default, our profilograms start from the nasion, but when we click Celia, we'll see that our profilogram can be adjusted to start from that particular cephalometric landmark. By default, our profilograms maintain an invisible parallel line on the horizontal plane, or FH line. However, when we select Cella Nasion line, we'll see that our profilograms align themselves along this particular line. The last particular setting is an option to show all age averages. When this is selected, OrthoVision displays an age range at the top followed by the average profilograms of each particular age in two-year intervals. Finally, across the top we have our camera tools and exporting tools. The first camera tool is a panning tool, which when selected, you can simply click and drag your image. The second tool is the zoom tool, which when you left click and drag your mouse to the right, it zooms in, and when you move your mouse to the left, it zooms out. The third tool being a fit image tool, which fits the image to your screen size. Beside the camera tools, we have our exporting tools. The first being print, which prints out the image to your screen. The second being capture, which copies the image to your clipboard for later pasting into either a word processor or image program third being export, which allows you to save an image to your disk, and finally image upload, which allows you to save it to the patient file in OrthoVision. This concludes our basic introduction to the profilogram feature of OrthoVision. If you have any additional questions, please refer to our user manual or feel free to contact our customer support.